Which of the following are miso compounds? A miso compound is a compound that has chiral centers, but it is achiral because it has a line of symmetry. And a line of symmetry is a line that cuts the molecule in two identical halves. And this line can be either vertical or it could be horizontal or it could be diagonal. So we have to look really carefully. So let's go ahead and look at our molecules here and see if they're miso compounds or not. So for A, first we have to identify, does my molecule have any chiral centers? And a chiral center is a carbon that's connected to four different groups. So in A, we have this carbon that's connected to bromine, hydrogen, CH3, methyl group here, and it's also connected to a carbon that has a bromine and CH3. So all of these are different. That means this must be a chiral center. This has the same connection, this carbon, bromine, hydrogen, CH3, and a carbon with bromine. So these are four different groups as well. So these are two chiral centers. Now that we have identified that we have two chiral centers, and for miso compound, we should have two or more chiral centers, is there a line of symmetry? Of course, in organic chemistry, there is an exception to everything. So there are miso compounds that don't have any chiral centers, but it's very rare. So let's, let's continue. So is there a line of symmetry in this molecule? Well, if we draw a line through the center of the molecule, in this case, horizontal line, we can see that we divide the molecule into identical halves. The two bromines are both on top, the two hydrogens are on the bottom dash, methyl on the bottom wedge. So there are two identical halves, the left and the right are identical halves. So this compound is a meso compound. Now let's look at molecule B. Is this a meso molecule? Well, it, it's the same as A in terms of its connections. So there's a chiral center here and a chiral center here. In order for us to figure out if there is a line of symmetry, everything must be aligned. And what we see here is that this bromine is up, but this bromine is down. So until we align them, we cannot tell if this molecule is a miso compound or not. How do we align it? If there is a single bond, we can rotate around the single bond to align all of our substituents. When I rotate, I'm going to keep the left side the same. So I'm going to put the left side bromine, hydrogen, methyl. And then the right side, I'm rotating it. I'm flipping it from bromine being down. It's going to go up. And when I flip, there is a trick, you have to switch the stereochemistry. So when you flip your chiral center and if when you rotate around the single bond, this bromine was going down, now it's going up, I have to switch the stereochemistry of the hydrogen of the methyl group. Here it was dash and a wedge, and after I rotate it, it's going to be the opposite. So my hydrogen is going to be a wedge, and my methyl is going to be a dash. Now that everything is aligned, bromine is aligned with bromine, hydrogen with hydrogen, methyl with methyl, is there a line of symmetry? No, there isn't, because this hydrogen is on a dash, but this one is on a wedge. This methyl group is on a wedge, but this one is on a dash. So this compound is not a meso compound. Let's go to C. You can see that C, D, and E, these are all chair forms. So an easy way for us to figure out whether this is meso or not is to draw it as a cyclohexane. And that's what I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw cyclohexane. I'm going to number one, two, three. You can number any way you want, but this is how I'm going to number to make it easier for myself. And next, I'm going to identify where my, whether my substituents on the chair are up or down. Just a brief overview. If we have a chair, we go like this. This is up. This is down. This is up. This is down. This is up. And this is down. 
and then their their partners will be opposite so if this is up this would be down and so on so let's take a look this one would be up this looks like up and this oh down is this way so that must be up another thing that we need to know going from shear back to the cyclohexane structure is that if we have something that's going up we're going to put it on a wedge and if something is going to go down it's going to be on a dash and that's how i'm going to put it here so one is up so i'm going to put my oh on a wedge two is up so again a wedge for ch3 and three is up as well so a wedge for an oh does this molecule have chiral centers? Let's take a look. First, we can look at this carbon. It has an OH, it has a hydrogen that's not shown. We're going to show it. And if we go this way, it's connected to a carbon. This way, it's also connected to a carbon. But this carbon is connected to a methyl group, and this carbon is not connected to a methyl group. So there is a difference. This carbon is a chiral carbon because it has OH, eight and then going up and down is different going up we have a carbon that's connected to a methyl group and here we do not so it's connected to four different substituents it's a chiral center and same thing will be here now if we look at this carbon it has ch3 it has a hydrogen but if we go to the left and to the right it's going to be the same to the left it's carbon with oh to the right is carbon with OH, and then carbon, carbon, and carbon. So going this way and this way is the same. So this carbon is not a chiral center. There are only two chiral centers, which are, which are these two. Okay, now that we have identified that our molecule has chiral centers, let's see if there is a line of symmetry. Do you see a line of symmetry in this molecule? Well, yes. There is a line of symmetry through the center of the molecule where two halves are identical. This CH3 is, is on the line of symmetry. So it could be wedge or dash. I don't really care. It's on the line of symmetry. And the two halves are identical. So this must be a meso compound. Let's take a look at this. It's going to be the same. Just this is going to be up. But in, this is down. And this is up. So... Let's draw it. I'm going to draw it here. Up. So I'm going to put wedge down and then up again. Is again all of these all three molecules they have the same substituents, so they have chiral centers. Is there a line of symmetry? Yes, there is. There is a line of symmetry through the center of the molecule. Again, the CH3 falls on the line of symmetry. And the two halves are exactly the same. They're identical. So this compound is a meso compound as well. And let's take a look at E. This is up, up, and down. So we have to do wedge, OH, wedge, OH, and dash, OH, sorry. This one is not OH, let me erase it. This one's CH3, my methyl group. Now, is there a line of symmetry in this molecule? Can I cut the molecule in half vertically or horizontally or diagonally where my two halves are identical? And the answer is no, because even though you can think, okay, these look pretty, uh, pretty similar if we go through, if you draw a line of symmetry here, because this OH is wedge and this OH is on a dash, they're not the same. The two halves are not the same. We cannot put a line of symmetry through this molecule because this OH is on a, on a wedge and this one is on a dash and this will not make for two identical halves. So this molecule is not a miso compound. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring and I really hope that you enjoyed this video.